So normally when I sit down to even do my brows, brow routine is on my saved highlights. But normally I put this on and I forgot today, but then it also kind of just made me feel like y'all needed to see it. So I'm gonna link it. This is something that is always on my face. This stuff is amazing. It is hydrating. It locks in that moisture. I never have chapped lips. Y'all watch me every single day. Y'all don't see crudustal lips over here. Um, this is amazing and I love it. So I'm putting on my eye cream, my Elemis eye cream, because I've already had makeup on. So I'm kind of resetting. And I've been trying out a new serum. So I already have my serum on. And let me go get a link for it, or let me show it to you. But for right now, this need I say more. I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving this eye cream. I've definitely used enough of it to tell y'all that I love it. It's so hydrating, but then it doesn't just aggravate my milia here. It's, it's perfection. It's so lightweight and it wears so beautifully under makeup. Y'all gonna love it. And do keep in mind, Elemis normally has some really good deals. This serum here from L'Occitane, I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm trying my best. Um, I've been trying it and I've been using it. I've used it probably about three weeks and I really like it. Mm -hmm. That's long enough for me to know. And normally I don't talk about serums. I've talked about that before, but I do see some improvement. Um, fine lines, fine lines, fine lines. It's, it's really helping. So if you want to check it out, I'm gonna leave a link, not a commission link, just a link to the website. We want to go read about it. I'm enjoying it. It's nice. This serum here from L'Occitane, I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm trying my best. Um, I've been trying it and I've been using it. I've used it probably about three weeks and I really like it. Mm -hmm. That's long enough for me to know. And normally I don't talk about serums. I've talked about that before, but I do see some improvement. Um, fine lines, fine lines, fine lines. It's, it's really helping. So if you want to check it out, I'm gonna leave a link, not a commission link, just a link to the website. We wanna go read about it. I'm enjoying it. It's nice. So I already had that on, so then I'll do my eye cream and then I'll top it. I should just give up, honestly, at this point. I'm gonna have to scoop this out with something. I have another one downstairs. And do remember if you're like, wow, you go through really, really quickly. I do a lot of makeup looks during the day. So I'm resetting more than your average person. So don't ever think that this isn't going to last because that's all I need. But imagine that two to three times a day. Where did my skincare brush go? Yes. Perfect. I don't know what we're doing today, but you know what? We're gonna have fun. Wait, I'm not done. I'm gonna top that with this. I like to use this as primer. This is actually an eye mask, but I use it as primer because it just kind of holds in that moisture. It's really, really nice when I'm gonna do heavier makeup. I, I can use powder again. I went and got all checked out and looking good. I'm looking on the mend. So we're gonna powder up this face today. But whenever I know I'm going to do a little bit heavier, I'm going to be using my powders. This, I mean, look at this. Let's go to makeup town. Sorry, y'all. I get wild with the links. Here's the link to this. All right, let's get started. Let's go. All my C31s are dirty, so I had to go get an old prototype. Y'all, this prototype is two and a half years old, almost three years old. You look at those bristles. You look at how nice they look. Don't look at this because this isn't what we went with. This were, again, just prototypes. What you're looking at here is there's no frazzle, frizzle, or frazzle. None of that. Okay, moving on. We're gonna grab some clean canvas. We're just gonna smooth this all over the lid. And I think I wanna do kind of a smoky wing, but in some neutral tones. Just, you know, just some classic rose makeup. relaxing and then once I get up to the brow there's gonna be less product on the brush and I want that because I don't want to carve you carve if you enjoy carving it's a different makeup journey for everybody but for me I'm just gonna push it in there 
I was filming and then it wouldn't record. It wouldn't load. So this creasing here, that's completely normal. We want that. And the reason we want that is because this type of gel pencil, which I absolutely love, by the way, it's from Give Beauty. This type of pencil sets very quickly. And that's good unless we're wanting to smudge it and smoke it out. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna start to tap this. Okay, because I want this to be very gradient. I want it to go from darkest to lightest. I'm excited. We're gonna pull it out that way. I'm gonna look straight ahead. I'm gonna flip the brush and once I flip it, then it's gonna wanna angle it upward. See that how it goes longest to shortest? That'll give us a really nice angle upwards. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep tapping. Now I'm just gonna to continue to use the side of the brush and we're just gonna tap. It is going to lighten and the reason it's going to lighten is because it's mixing with that very light base. That's gonna be completely normal for right now. And we almost want that because we can come back and add that depth at the lash line, but it's really about creating that transition for now. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of depth. See how cool that looks? Jean has had a very rough day of being absolutely adorable and orange and squishy. So he is really snoring. It's really hard being that cute and squishy. Transition it a little bit more. I'm using the side of the brush, by the way. Now we're gonna use another one of these Milani palettes. This one is the Call Me Old Fashioned palette. Um, we're gonna grab this color, grab it on the side of the brush. Don't worry about that crease, we're not there yet. If it's bothering some of y'all, don't worry about it. We're not there. We're gonna start to transition this. We're still gonna add some more black. You'll see what that's gonna do, but let's build this up a little bit more. Ooh, that's nice and pigmented. I'm just letting it run. I want you to see what's going on. Still using the side of the brush. I'm gonna grab it on the center. Okay, I grabbed that eyeshadow on the center and I'm just gonna stamp it over here a little bit more. I do the same thing over here. Now I'm gonna take our brush that had the eyeshadow base and I'm just gonna to start to smooth out these perfectly normal creases. And I'm actually gonna reshape it a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm kind of making it thinner towards the inner part of the eye. Smooth all that out. I'm just gonna wipe off any excess. It might've picked up some of the darker liner and shadow. Nice. Let's transition some more. We're gonna grab this color, a very small amount, grab it on the side. I'm gonna hold that a little bit further back so I have a little bit more control and lighter pressure. Ooh, look how smooth and transition. So pretty. And then I'm gonna find a color. I'm gonna grab another Milani palette because they're so affordable and I wanna keep the eye look at least affordable. I have all of these, so there'll be a color. I'll find us the color, but for right now, let's just lightly transition. So now I found this palette. Let's grab this one. Three taps of that. I already did this eye. We're gonna take that and I wanna go ahead and make sure that at least to my upper crease is nice and set. And I picked this color because it's right in between, just kind of a neutral and a warm. Two more taps. And then we can continue to work on that transition. But let's just go ahead and set it. This will even help smooth everything too. Let's grab a little bit more for over here. Okay, 
Now, back into the original palette. Let's go ahead and grab this color again on the side. And we're just going to continue to lightly transition it a little bit more. Now one more time, we're going to add some more depth. This is completely normal. I don't want you to think, oh, it's fading, it's doing this. This is what gives it so much dimension. This is the intensity. And also we're going to do our top and bottom waterline. And then I'm just going to extend it a little bit more. Then I'm going to take the same E27 and I'm just ever so lightly, I'm going to use the tip of the brush just to soften the very top part. I want it extremely dark at the lash line. Don't you worry about that. So I'm going to clean up the sides with micellar water. Don't you look at that. <laughs> so now I have my micellar water on my C30 and I'm just cleaning it up and I'm gonna clean this little chaos number off. Pinch that, that looks about right. Nice. Now I wanna take this shade on an E28 and I'm just going to kinda of tilt my head back and I just wanna brighten in here. Those might be too much of a goblin noise, Jean. That's that's too much. Yes, that's pretty. And let's put some on the brow bone. And then we're basically almost done with the eye, aside from lashes. Let's make sure our lashes are nice and close to the lash line. These lashes are just some of my absolute favorites. I am going to push them up while they're drying. That way it kind of all stays lifted. I'm just using the end of this and I'll just kind of hold it for about 10 seconds. All right, I'm gonna go finish filming something and I'll be back. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. You'll see what I used in the video. I have it on the back of my hand. I know you're thinking, what are you doing? Also, I'm over here with my other little setup. And I'm just finishing up. I'm using my Sephora collection foundation today. This stuff is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the shade I'm using is 23.5P. It's very pink. I'm talking flamingo pink. <laughs> Not quite. But my undertone is definitely more cool pink. I'm just going to let you watch this melt in. The foundation is the only thing that you really missed, aside from the corrector, but you will see that. It's going to be an ad, but it's so helpful. If I'm doing ads, it's going to be helpful. And then I'll clean my earring. You know what I found out today? I found out, y'all sit down, because I had to sit down. My friend Hector, he is using our brushes on Mariah Carey. <coughs> what? You're telling me my brushes are doing Mariah Carey's makeup. They're touching her. I lost my mind. <laughs> so I want to go a little bit brighter underneath my eyes. Look what we can finally use. Ooh, I'm excited. So yesterday I talked about the shade R5, but I want to go a little bit brighter underneath my eye. And I didn't want to use corrector. Normally I would use corrector because the black is going to pull out a little bit of the chaos underneath my eyes. But I feel like this might be such a nice shade and very peachy, which is what my undertone needs. So I'm going to use that alone, but I might get a lighter shade for the center. I guess I should tell you why. So the reason you don't see me go in immediately with a super bright concealer underneath my eyes, shadows. So this part of my face, um, even if I was just to wear mascara, my lashes could cause shadows and all most humans walking around living life, this area, this under eye area, it's in a little bit. It's natural, it's beautiful, we love it. But since it is in a little bit, it's gonna cast shadows. And the lighter that under eye is under there without balance, and this color is very close to my skin tone. It's going to kind of hide shadows. If I was to bring out 
if I was to put that white, that very light underneath my eyes without any balance, it's just gonna look like more shadow. It's gonna look gray. It's not gonna have the balance it needs. So we have to balance before we brighten. Let me write that down. Now let's blend this out. We could even add a lighter color on top later, but this would be the shade that I would just reach for. And if I wanna brighten without a lighter color, my powder is gonna do my brightening anyways. <gasps> that is creamy. I have to go run some errands after this and I'm gonna go ride on the golf cart. Beep, beep. So I'm gonna be outside, it's super humid. We're gonna be able to do a little bit of a wear test. I'll keep y'all updated. That blended like an absolute dream. This color is beautiful. Again, that was R4. It's giving me my balance that we just talked about. Love it with this brush. Eee. Wow, I'm excited. It's so thin and it's so pigmented and that's another video I filmed. I can't wait to post it. Oh, I love. Now let's use the shade R9, R93. I'm gonna do a little bit of brightening. Notice that it's not too much brighter, but it is gonna give us what we need. And remember, we brighten with powder. I feel like that's something we forget. We is in me. If I do a super, super bright under eye and then I add my Givenchy on top, it's just going to be wildly bright, but I am going for a more glam look, so I thought this would be fun. And it does feel so thin that you're able to definitely layer. But always keep in mind that your powder, even a translucent, a lot of translucents are very white, they're gonna brighten. So keep that in mind. I am vibing. If this wears well, I'm shook. Now I've talked about this before. See how it's kind of rough around the edges? It's perfectly smooth here, but then I'll take my foundation brush and I'll just smooth out those edges. Ooh. Satisfying. And then for my nose, I'll just kind of do this, hit it with one of those, and then I will just lightly go on top. I feel like the nose just doesn't enjoy a lot of makeup. So don't be afraid to kind of just go over it with your foundation brush a little bit. There we go. See, still nice and highlighted down the center. Before we put any powder on our face, let's try this out. I just got this. Looks, um, looks a little orange, kind of a little bit of red, we'll see. This is the face hack from Freck. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice, okay. And we're bronzing, not contouring, don't forget that. Bronzer can go up here because that's where the sun would naturally hit. I also like to think of contour as wherever you have a natural shadow, that's where you would put it. So there's my natural shadow. See that, that's a natural shadow. I don't really, I wouldn't put bronzer there, but I would put bronzer where the sun would naturally hit us a little bit higher on the face. Remember that. Now, if you're wondering, Rose, why are you putting bronzer there? I'm gonna tell you why. I didn't put that much. But what I want to happen is I want everything to flow. So I'm not doing this to sculpt, I'm not doing it to shape, I'm just doing it for a little bit of warmth and color. And then everything is going to be blended and seamless and it's gonna go from the forehead, to the cheek, to the jaw, to the chest. Now that blended out quite nicely. I think I like it. Nice and blendable. Blended like a dream. Gave us a nice little bit of a lift, a little bit of a sculpt, if you will. Not a contour, and I love that they didn't call it a contour. I love that brands are kind of getting away from that. They're, they're focusing more on the education of the product. Well, to a point but it is named correctly because it is so warm. And I appreciate that, Freck. Let's make sure everybody knows the difference. Ooh, that's pretty, I like it. Then I'll just use whatever's left on the brush. This brush might be a little larger than what you think to 
kind of add a little bit of shape to the nose, but the way that it's shaped is absolutely perfect for it. Notice how it just fits in there. Look at that. Easy peasy. I find that little brushes can sometimes just make things a little bit more complicated. So we'll just kind of tap on top of the nose, blend that out. Perfect. I have missed you. And I have missed my puff with my powder. Did a video on this recently. If you want to go check it out, it's on Reels. How I pick it up, how I use it. I'm going to smooth this out. This is already queued up. I find it's best to just press, make sure it's nice and smooth, immediately go in. Go, go, go. See that brightening we get? We're still going to get the brightening, and then we don't have any shadows. That concealer looks amazing. And then I'm just gonna take whatever's left on the puff and I'm gonna set the center of the face. Satisfying. I'm not gonna set my cheeks though. Let me go get one of my cream blushes. Let's do this color. It's called Radiant Rose. This is the against a cream blush. It's gonna blend so beautifully. But do remember that I only have powder really underneath my eye. Can this blend over powder? Yes. But it's gonna be much easier if you don't have powder. Where you, ooh, where you place it. Look how beautifully that blended. Oh, and I love the color. And the brush I'm using is the C41. And I'm gonna talk about it really, really quickly. Um, do you see how it's shaped? Do you see how this part sticks out more? I could talk about it way more advanced, but this is how I would need talk to at one point. Um, see how this sticks out? That's really where I'm blending at. So I'm not using all of this surface to blend it. I'm really just using this top part for now, just to kind of transition it, and you're gonna have more control with it. So if you ever looked at it and you're like, wow, it's really big for a blush brush, it's not. Because if you use certain parts of it, so I'm using the top part to transition, and then now that I have it here, I want to use that bottom part to transition. So we're using all of the sides of the brush. We're just not using all of it at once. Mm. Now I'm going to take whatever's left in the puff, just lightly set, and I'm going in these sections so I can make sure that all of this is set, that I didn't miss a spot. Valentino Beauty Liner to extend my inner corner. Don't forget to turn to the side, it really helps. For lips, we're gonna do a little bit of warm, and the warm comes from this lipstick. That's pretty. And then we're gonna go in with this lip liner. Look how cool this is shaped. This is from Give Beauty, and I'm gonna use this side, okay? It's gonna be sharper if I use it this way first. Doug's absolutely struggling over there doing absolutely nothing. What a cool shape. Really precise. Love the color too. The brow pencil is shaped like this, and I already know I love that. I have missed glamming. Mm -hmm. I have missed it. I feel so fancy. Oh my. Ah. <laughs> I will definitely be saving this one to YouTube. We're still catching up. Um, if you haven't checked YouTube, there's a bunch of videos there. I'm just saving these instead of saving to my highlights because they do eventually go away. I started saving to YouTube. So here's the link to YouTube. I'm going to save a new video tonight too. I love y'all so much. Tonight's post is going to be an ad, but it's something y'all have seen me use and it's going to be amazing for summer. Y'all are going to really, really like it. Um, in fact, I'm going to take it with me on my trip. Maybe I should do a what I bring on my trip. I'll do that. 
Although I'm probably not taking as much because I might take next week off, which I've talked about. I will keep you updated. I'm sure I'll sneak on here and do one or two tutorials. But it's been a rough three weeks with these allergies and I'm finally starting to feel better. So I was going to take a little mini, it's still a work trip, but it'd be a mini vacation in a sense, a mini work vacation. But I love y'all so much. I'm going to keep you updated on the concealer. I'm definitely going to take it with me. I will definitely be taking the concealer and probably one of these cream blushes. I love y'all. And I've missed feeling this good and just laughing and having fun. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you in the comments tonight.